All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about mastering chi with frequency. And this lesson that I've learned has come from a deep belief that if I'm not constantly moving, I will die. If I'm not constantly producing, I will not be loved. And so on and so on. And this is a very universal belief within many human minds. And so what I have learned, because I have experienced a major up level in the amount of chi or vital life force in my system, is that the intelligent use of energy and the respect of energy um, is an essential thing to understand if you want to live at very high levels of consciousness and energy. So for those of you who might share in the uh, belief that you know if you experience yourself expending energy excessively and finding yourself exhausted and drained and having to recover from your ego's tendency to drive you into exhaustion I'm going to teach you a way to break that habit the quickest way to break that habit because you can be aware of it, aware of it, aware of it, but you'll just watch it continue to run you and drive you. And this is something that in my own life, um, like I'll make lots of progress with. And then, you know, when, I, when that tendency comes back in, the consequences are very great. So just by natural, the natural machination of life, my interest in giving that part of my ego any life has just gotten to the point where I'm no longer interested in it. So I have been working with energy to increase the vibration of my body um, and to embody frequencies that I was trying to get by expending energy, such as by you know exercising a lot. By exercising a lot, I want to feel flexible and vital. And, but I realized that the way I was going about it was draining the exact thing that I wanted, which is vitality. And so I'm going to talk about a few frequencies today that I feel are very helpful in helping you um, intelligently um, maintain, preserve, modulate, and uh, increase and radiate your vital life force. So... The first frequency is gentleness, right? Gentleness. Gentleness is in the heart, right? If you tune into your heart, you may or may not be able to already feel that there is a sense of gentleness in your heart. And what I'm about to teach you is, is it's really the easier way of going about embodying qualities in your life because you can be aware for example that there's a block in your heart there's a block in your heart there's a block in your heart but that may take a really long time to finally dissolve whereas if you choose the frequency of what you want the block will just dissolve because you're putting your attention on what you want and not on what you don't want which is whatever fear or whatever belief is blocking your ability to feel gentleness towards yourself and others so if you don't feel it in your heart a very powerful way, and this is in the Yoga Sutras and in many teachings, is meditating on symbols. It's called Samyama, I believe, in the Yoga Sutras. And to meditate upon a symbol, you take on its quality. So for me, my symbol for gentleness is the rose. I resonate with the order of the rose, with, of all the ascended masters, Mother Mary is the one that I at least right now, have the strongest connection to, she's really gentle. Like, the gentleness that she radiates, and I've talked about we radiate just like the sun radiates, and in your radiation are certain qualities. And so for me, I choose the rose, and I put the rose, right, I will concentrate on my, my root chakra, and... The root chakra is your presence in the world, not presence as in the, the intelligent ball of light that you are that's in this world. Presence is like the way you show up in this world, the way that it actually translates physically, psychologically into the world. So I put a rose in my root chakra. 
and I really feel it. I really feel it and I allow it to go down my legs and connect with the earth. And to me, to my mind, that means I connect with this earth plane in a gentle way and then it comes back to me and I am gentle to myself. And with the rose, when I focus on the rose, you know, sometimes I, sometimes Mother Mary will come in and I'm not saying you have to meditate with an ascended master, whether it's Kuan Yin, whether it's Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, whoever or whatever, you know, a symbol is very helpful because it has certain qualities and test this for yourself, bring about a symbol, you know, find and focus on a, a frequency like gentleness and then bring up a symbol in your mind's eye and just feel it expanding. It really helps you expand and when you expand a quality in yourself, it becomes part of you. You feel the quality expanding in yourself and before you know it, you are it. So if you have a habit of expending your life force, expending your life force, expending your life force, being a little harsh on yourself, even people in spirituality, right? The ego's tendency to overwork, overexpend energy, to waste, it can be it can translate as too much meditation or uh, too much studying scriptures or too much too much too much right the ego is a shapeshifter and the same energy comes in through different doorways and and the same energy expresses in in different arenas right you might say okay i'm going to give up like harsh exercise and i'm just going to walk but you walk like for hours a day and I'm not saying that's inherently bad, but is the result the same? Do you find yourself winded? Do you find yourself imbalanced? You know, do you find yourself all of a sudden starving or that when you feel hungry, it's painful because all of a sudden your body needs sustenance? That's a state of imbalance. And I'm speaking from experience, right? Because I'm here. <laughs> okay, she wanted to hug me. <laughs> because I'm here to, to teach this. Right, it's, I'm very passionate about it. I have posted photos of my hands on Instagram and I might add them at the end of this uh, video because I have a lot of life force. I have a lot and when I misuse it, it, for lack of a better phrase, fucks me up. <laughs> so gentleness is amazing. Gentleness is medicinal for me. Gentleness, gentleness, gentleness. It's easy for me to be gentle with others but not always gentle with my own energy, not always gentle with myself. So this is a big lesson that I have been in the process of learning and that I want to share with you the ways that have really helped me. So, so gentleness is one frequency and I love the rose and I love rose oil, a good quality rose oil, as well as frankincense oil. It just expands those qualities inside of you, divine love, right? Myrrh, I bought a perfume with myrrh in it and I you know those scents truly are um, helpful to the energy body helpful to embody certain qualities helpful to calm certain things in your system you know be very picky in particular about what you ingest scent wise uh, media wise friendship wise everything that you all of the nutrients as the Buddha would say that's very important to your energy to mastering your energy um, so gentleness is really important. Another one um, that is really important is vitality, right? So much of what we do, especially if you live in a place like Miami or New York or LA or anywhere in the world, a lot of people attempt to achieve a sense of vitality by supplementation, by having a, real, a very rigorous diet and, and um, you know, ingesting very clean, high energy, you know, foods which is not bad it's not bad but if you look at the essence of what you want which is vitality and to also to feel a sense of confidence in your vitality then what you want is to practice confidence in in your vitality and vitality right so another frequency that i anchor in myself is vitality and i do use the violet flame the violet flame of saint germain uh, also the the yellow ray like for whatever reason all of these ray energies are really coming into my experience in a very strong way I wear citrine usually I wear it up here because this is the Christ chakra and Jesus is part of the yellow ray and I do feel it I feel the the energy of the stones and the colors and everything they really do help um, 
my body's energy. So I wear a lot of citrine because that the frequency of yellow right now is really helping um, my body feel vital. And while the green ray is more of like the, the healing, it's this is not about healing for me, this is about um, reinforcing and strengthening my vitality to be able to hold more light. And so I, I bring in the violet ray and I bring in the yellow ray and I feel like a net or a web of those uh, frequencies surrounding my fascia and all my organs and all my brain and everything and I tell it I program it to create stability and vitality in every cell of my body and you will stay there violet ray yellow ray until until you are no longer needed right this is how you use energy and frequency and color to help mm, kind of stabilize your body and raise the energy of your body to be able to radiate more light in your life. And by anchoring these frequencies, you no longer need to um, uh, seek them in the external world. So we spend a lot of energy seeking the essence of what we want in the external world where it's really not necessary. And what I'm telling you right now is the actual practical way to realize experientially that these essences are within you because you can create them at will. You don't need a stone, you don't need a ray, you don't need an ascended master. You can just say the word vitality and you will feel, right, if you're aware of energy, which if you are not, meditating with the body, meditating, putting your awareness on the body and on the inner in the inner body and on your energy instead of just blanking out and seeing what happens or going into the void putting your attention on the energy it it strengthens the etheric body which strengthens the physical body you can even imagine the etheric body right and you can program it you can program it you can say all um tears all are healed all are sealed and you reinforce it with a color and a strength and a vitality. And so when you see and feel something, right, it's real to you. And when something is real to you, it translates into the physical world. So that's why I talk about visualization and using sound and anything that can enhance your inner senses to, to be able to embody and um, walk in the frequencies that you want to walk in, right? The essences that you want to walk in. So vitality is huge, right? Why is it important to, you know, focus on the etheric body, focus on the physical body, see it, see it radiating like really strong light, visualize yourself as light because the body, even the, the body itself, the fact that we have a physical body is kind of a metaphor for the fact that we believe we are separate. And in our separation thoughts, when we hold thoughts of separation in our mind, thoughts of judgment, thoughts of stress, thoughts of lack, those thoughts are reflected in the body, right? Sometimes in um, accelerated aging or in illness. Um, and by the way, again, I never speak from judgment. I've walked through lots of illnesses, well, lots of illnesses, eating disorders, cancers, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm speaking from experience and I've experienced my body rebuilding itself in such an intense way. I've had lymph nodes already grow back. I had 90 of them removed and I've had several grow back already. So whatever I'm doing is working for me, maybe it can work for you. Um, so it's important to raise the energy of the body because in separation thoughts, right, the body, it reflects that idea. But when you make wholeness and godness and light lightness real to you, right? Whereas the physical senses make separation real to you. The inner senses can help you make your godhood real to you and therefore the body will reflect it and therefore the body can be a container and a vehicle for you to be able to radiate that godness into the world, which is the greatest service that we can offer mankind. Not because mankind needs fixing, but because everything is ourselves and if we Somebody posted a comment on a video of mine that I am not free until we are all free. And there's a certain truth to that because everything is myself, but you as the individual demonstrating your godness and your freedom helps others 
awaken to that. And so that's the service that claiming our freedom and radiating the freedom and the energy of ourselves in truth, in truth, is the optimal act of love, the, the optimal, the maximal action of love that we could possibly uh, demonstrate on this plane. So using frequencies to vitalize the body, right? It's so important. Chi or life force is, is nuclear, right? It's nuclear. It's like the sun. It's like the nuclear energy of the sun. We are like many suns that, and, and our realization that we are that, that we are this life force, it, it affects the quality of what we radiate. And, and so if you're going to be able to live in the physical world as a non-physical being, and that's kind of a, that's kind of a, um, like a paradox in a way, because we don't really live in a physical world. We do live in a, a non-physical world, but when your perce perception or your reality of yourself is that you are a non-physical being, maybe you're still appearing physical. If you're going to live that way, then you have to have a certain integrity within your system so that the energy can flow freely without damming up inside of you and creating chaos and problems. So gentleness and vitality. And you know what? Another really good frequency is joy. Joy is something that I anchored when I was in Paris. Joy is something that is very natural to me. I've always been very playful. I've always been very childlike. And even more so after I've had certain awakenings. But when I was in Paris, I walked in joy all day, all day, all day, because I was in this energy of celebration of life. In the Tuileries Garden with the Ferris wheel and the nymph statues and the Louvre and the opera house and the people having picnics and the people picking flowers to take back to their home. Like I was in this just joy and my physical body changed. I came back to my home my home and when i saw my parents they were like you look different something different about you my best friend said the same thing he was like you, you look different like i had a lot of swelling on my neck from having you know lots of surgery right even though it was 10 years ago it can flare up sometimes it just disappeared and so part of what i meditate with now now that i had a very intense uh now that that frequency is like very available to me when i want to create it i use it right and i use that with the color yellow and i, I it's almost like it has a sound and a song like when i close my eyes and i say the word joy it's like Ooh, it's like a tone and i feel like this vitality and this love and this joy and it's like the color gold and yellow that's how it is for me and i see some pink too so just, so making all of this real to yourself with your subtle senses is so freaking powerful because you can just mentally know what you are. You can have a mystical experience. You know, you can know the true nature of yourself, but is it translating through all the dimensions? In order for it to do that, you're, you have to be vital. You have to have integrity. You have to respect the cycles of your body. You have to you have to respect and and by the way, the cycles of your body will change and be more at your command, so to speak, when instead of seeking for an essence outside of yourself like vitality, strength, health, you create that feeling within yourself. I have mentioned that there's a meditation I mentioned this meditation a lot because it's already recorded. It's for me, the music is very powerful and on point. It's Botech 3, Blessing of the Energy Centers 3 by Joe Dispenza. You can purchase it on his website. It may or may not be on YouTube. Um, try it. It's, it's a concentration meditation where you pick symbols, right? So for me, the rose, the violet ray on the third chakra, I often call in the energy of Jesus or Babaji because the, the third chakra is the personal mind. Personal mind translates into the body. And so they have mastered the body, right? They ascended into their body of light. And so I call upon them to help me anchor that frequency of personal mastery. You choose your symbols, right? If you try it out, let your intuition tell you what would be medicinal for you. 
but that's my message for today. I hope it helps and have a beautiful day.